Uh, hello guys, um, um, alright, so this week, playing the Ravens, let's look over here, ooh, this look, looks looking good, alright, overall I'm slightly better, offensively I'm slightly better, defensively they have a slight edge, uh, I have a slight edge on special teams. I have a pretty big edge in quarterbacks right there. And I have a slight edge in running backs and wide receivers. They have a slight edge in offensive line, though. But I have a huge edge in defensive line, though. But they do have a pretty big pretty big edge against me in linebackers. They have slightly, a little bit better defensive backs. And they have a better offense rig. Well, my defense is really doing pretty well here. All right, I got to win this game. Offensively, I believe I could hold them. It's only defensively where I'm nervous. Because it's going to... I don't know if I'll be able to get away with passing as much as I did there. Of course, they want to receive first. Look at the rosters here. All right, Corey Redman. They have as Chris Redmans. They have their star, but Kyle Boyler, the rookie, is in the backup mode. It's hard to say which one's better. I mean, Boiler is pretty much faster, but Redman has awareness and let's look at throwing power. He has much more throwing power, but he has slightly better accuracy. So. It's a tough one, really, but we both we all know that both of them end up being busts, really. Um, they got the great Jamel Lewis, an awesome running back. They have Chester Taylor, too, who's also a great, who ended up being a great running back in his own right, too. Fullback, they have Alan Rickard, who is about average. And they have Harold Morrow in the backup position, and he's about average, too. Travis Taylor is their best receiver. Um, Frank Sanders, he's an... Frank, Sanders and Robinson, they're they're okay. They don't really have anyone dynamic in the receiving thing. Um, tight end, they have Todd he was in a fucking amazing tight end. Um, Ogden is a fucking Hall of Famer right there. Uh, Edwin is a great left guard. Um, Flynn, eh, he's a bit weak at center right there. Um, uh, Ant Anderson, he's not a great right guard in this. Um, Brown, not a good good right tackle either. So the left side's strong, but everything else is pretty bad. Um, Weaver, he's a pretty solid left end for the most part. Right end, right end leaves a bit to be desired, though. Uh, Kelly Grank, he's a great D tackle, but for some reason in this game, he doesn't really show it. Um, Terrell Suggs, he's, he's, a, he's a rookie, and he's going to be pretty solid. Uh, Ray Lewis is 99 overall, of course. Uh, Egerton Hartwell is also a very good linebacker, too, for, which works well for that 3-4 scheme they have. Peter Bullwear is a great linebacker, too. So linebacking, it's tough. It'll be tough. Uh, Chris McAllister, their star safety, is, is out. Uh, Gary Baxter, he's, he's a decent cornerback, but he's not number one material, really. It's McAllister who was number one material, and he's gone. Corey Fuller, he's an okay free safety. He's a pretty decent free safety. Uh, Ed Reed, though, of course, is an amazing strong safety. So, and Matt Stover is a great kicker, and Dave, <laughs> Dave, he's an okay punter. So, eh, offensively, I think I can handle them, handle their offense, but their defense, I don't. It's going to be tough. The main thing is going to really be keep a keep a lid on Heath and Lewis. Yeah, that shit's going to be trouble.
Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, you better. Damn it! Come on, I had him! Oh, you fucker. Nice, okay, I stopped him. One more. Great. All right. Hold them to a field goal. I can live with that. Fuck me. Damn it, come on, guys. Damn it. Nice. One more play. Come on, guys. Great. 
great. I thought he might have missed it first. For a little s split second, I thought he might have missed it, but no. That was a, that was a good end. Alright. Alright, got all my timeouts. I can certainly... Damn it, come on. Oh, come on. Jeez. Damn it, come on guys. Damn it, come on, guys. Turnover, an interception, or something. <laughs> oh, fuck! Come on! Oh, come on, really? Here's 
set up some good days in there. We have to see the entire field in an instant and just take off towards the open field. That was a nice return for their team. Really, they're not going to look at it. Can't challenge it. Fuck. Help me out here, guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Can I challenge that? Fuck. This sucks. This really sucks. I'll tell you what. I really need a big half here. I tell you, he put that one right on the money. They just out there playing a little pitch and catch. Looks like he's changing the play. Nice, good job, Tofield. Tofield's really impressing me. I'm so I'm glad. Gotta hold them. We need some turnovers here. Come on, really? Jeez. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh fuck me, I guess. Oh, come on, you had it. You had them beat. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not punting. Damn it! Damn it, come on, guys. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. This one is just about in the book. Red with a man in motion. But yeah, if you're down like me, like you're getting murdered, there's nothing wrong with trying to do a quick little two-minute drill at the end of the game. It's good practice because there's not really a practice mode in the in the man in this franchise mode of Madden, so you might as well. And there could be a small risk of a player getting hurt, but. Start 
this drive at the 21 yard line. First down may be where they try something towards the end zone, since they'll have three more downs to work with after that. He's looking with the throw. Incomplete pass. Watch that game from. You need to keep a stop as much as possible. Damn it, Brady. Making a better play choice. Let's try this one. Damn it. Damn it! God, this is, this is bad. I hate this. I hate this. I hate it when I lose like this, because it's like, last game, last game, it was, at least last game it was close, so I knew I could rebound, but this game, it's just like, sometimes with these games, sometimes when you're playing the computer, it's just, you don't know what's up. You don't know what's up with it. And I, I do believe that the computer plays a part a lot of times in these Madden games. week here. Falcons lost one, I see. Alright, let's look at, uh, for this week, Mac Hasselbeck was uh, Offensive Player of the Week with 20... With uh, 340 yards and four touchdowns, and Dexter Jack and Jackson for the defense with five tackles and three interceptions of a touchdown. For the AFC, it's Lamont Jordan, the halfback for the Jets, with 30 carries, 119 yards, and a touchdown, and few catches with a couple touchdowns in that too. Ty Law for the defense was AFC Player of the Week with uh, five tackles, an interception, touchdown, and a forced fumble. And NFC, of course, will be the same as the NFL. Um. I'm I'm not gonna really check on yearly and Pro Bowl stuff until towards the end of the season because there's it, there's so much time left for it to change that it kind it's kind of redundant to keep checking it but our, but here's horse trailer player of the week would be a uh, Ty Law with the tackles interception and forced fumble but yeah that's this week of Matt of the franchise mode and. These last two games, I've really sucked. I'm at 4-4 four and four right now, and I'm getting a little nervous. Thankfully, I'm playing the Colts now, and I and I beat them last time, next week. And I beat them last time, so I'm hopefully I'll do better. But yeah, it, that sucks. I really, I really don't like losing that much at all. I don't like losing this much early in the season because if that if that 500-ish pattern keeps consisting, I may have to. Start over some games just so I can get to the playoffs, so I can review the playoffs in the Super Bowl. 
But yeah, I saved that. And yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day.